Well, obviously they'll run the counter, and the zone read and stuff like that, and uh, well, man short sometimes, some guys will miss some tackles, they'll run in the sweeps on the outside. Uh, they fake the reverse one time, we've, we've been on the reverse, he ran up uh, to the right side, you know, quarterback runs, we're going to stop the quarterback runs. Well, what made it difficult to adjust to that and we're having so much success with it? Yeah, you know, just uh, I think they had answers. I think they had answers. Uh, there was multiple facets of their runs. Uh, they could read some stuff that went in. They made the right reads. I think in the second the second half we missed some tackles. Uh, one time I wanted to run a stunt. I ran a stunt. We we crashed killed him on chest on. He kept it. The defensive end couldn't tackle him. Touchdown. He made a lot of good plays on his own. They had a good scheme. Uh, things we have to work on to get better. Coach, uh, does it say something about the expectations this team that some of the players look like y'all lost after the game? Yeah. I mean, you, you, you win by 21, yeah. but there's an expectation so high now that even well, when you struggle, you're, they're not. That's they're what not I have to remind them of. Let's enjoy the win. Let's don't get gritty. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's don't uh, let's keep our feet on the ground. Our object is to win the game, and uh, we won the game. We won it by 21 points. So. But obviously, when you don't play well on defense at LSU, nobody's feeling good. That's, that's just the way it is. Yeah, to me, Joe, Joe's ability to adjust in the pocket and yeah. the throws he did. Yeah, I thought it was, especially in the first half, I thought uh, he was on fire the first half, uh, that uh, he made a lot of plays, extended the plays with his feet. Uh, he's a good athlete. Uh, we probably could run Joe in his own ring a little bit more, but we just don't want to do it. Do you, do you look at any today as a sign of anything greater or more just specific to today, you think? I just need to look at it. Now, obviously, 400 yards rushing, I don't know if I've ever been a part of a team that give up 400 yards rushing, so, uh, you know, you don't you don't want that on your football team. So, we're going to need to look at it, need to look at it on film, see where we went wrong, uh, schematically, personnel-wise, technique, whatever it may be, we're going to fix it. The bottom line is, you know, when you win, win games, you know, you kind of pick, pick things apart and stuff like that, the object is to win the game. Being this close, being this close to clinching the West for y'all and getting to the title, is this a good reminder to kind of reset how y'all view the rest of the season? Yeah, you know, we, we, we don't talk about that, about clinching nothing and stuff like that. There's going to be on the Arkansas winning them one game at a time, improving. Uh, tell the truth Monday, we're going to look at what we did well, what we, did, what we didn't do well, and fix it. Joe's been almost perfect. This year was that just a couple unlike mistakes by him in the second. Yeah, I think we're pressing a little bit. I think we're pressing a little bit. Uh, very unlike him. Uh, I think we're pressing on those two interceptions in the second half. Yeah, it hasn't been on both sides of this route. You expected this type of game, then you like down the they weren't going to give up. No, we knew that. We knew that. We expected a fight. You know, it's a set. In fact, the, the first half was a little bit easier than I thought it was going to be. I you know, I thought we. Uh, we kind of controlled them in the first half, but obviously the second half they started making some plays, and we had to fight. Then the turnovers hurt us. So it was, it was a sixty-minute battle, won by twenty-one points. Obviously, Jamar breaks the school record for touchdowns in a season. What's it been like watching him develop over his career? I love it. I love the recruiting battle. Uh, he was committed to Florida. I love his parents. He got a great family. He's right there from Romo High School. Uh, to see him grow, to see uh, he was a phenomenal receiver when he came here. But to see the job that Joe Bird and Mickey Jones has done with him and the connection that him and Joe have. Uh, he's a very strong receiver. George after the catch. Uh, he, he looks like he catches every ball. I'm proud of him. You guys went up 28 nothing for that time. What was going right? Like, how, was that, how was that working so well? Say it again, though. No, you guys went up 28 0. How was that working so well at first? Yeah, well, we, we started fast. I mean, there was no hangover. There was none of that stuff that they were talking about this and that. We, we were ready to play. I mean, we understood. Coming over here, and they, they're going to play a lot better at home. And these guys understood what was at what was at, at stake, you know. But Jamar and Justin now both over a thousand yards receiving for the year. What's it about the way they work together that makes them so the team? You know, it all starts with the coaches. I mean, the coaches do a tremendous job of coaching those guys. Uh, they're together. Um, you know, they have a great quarterback, offensive line. Combination of all those things. Speaking of offensive line, you're missing a couple guys. We yeah. The guys that in and just, oh, I thought they did well. I thought they really did. I was proud of Bedore. I was proud of Adrian McGee. Uh, Chase Hahn Hine got in there a little bit and played. I thought the offensive line did pretty good to me. A, a year ago, 10 wins was kind of the number one benchmark. Yeah. And now it's kind of just a, a footnote. I guess does that kind of show how much things have changed? In the yeah. It, well, it shows the type of team we had. And, uh, we, we knew we had an outstanding team going into the season. Uh, obviously, our plan is to get better every every week. Um, did we get better this week? I think we did. I think we overcame 
some things that other other teams wouldn't. I think other teams might have been looking still towards last week. I think we put it behind us pretty well as the way we played in the first half. But you know what? Every week we have some things that we've got to get better on. So Monday's going to be a good day for us. Is this one of those where the initial game plan is kind of works out well and they adjust the defense on, on your side to kind of find some corrections? Yeah, I think so. I, I think so. And, and, and again, man, that counter play, that counter read, uh, maybe when you get a one guy over, maybe the guy was there to make a tackle. You got to look at it on tape. They had a good game plan. Is that the kind of offense that you, they just break these big plays? Like that, I mean, these dead. Mm, yeah, no, we didn't expect. I didn't expect that. No, really, didn't expect us to be that far out of position, and for them, for them to make those big plays. Obviously, uh, that's uncharacteristic for us to get that many big runs up. We got to look at it. It's probably out of position you want to be in, but to know you can go blow for blow when it starts going like that. How do you view that? Say it again, though. I mean, you, it's probably not a position you want to be in, but knowing you can go yeah, blow for blow at the feel, end, is that a place? I feel that. How do you feel that? I feel, I feel like, what about the run by Clyde, that Clyde made it then? You know what I mean? Those guys are game game winners. They want to win the game. Now, give some credit to Ole Miss, man. They fought. I thought they had a good game plan, and they fought. Have you ever gained over 700 yards? What was that? Have you ever gained over 700 yards in a game? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. But I never had somebody gain 600 on us neither. So. Put up that many points and that many yards, but maybe a couple drives in the first half running your finish and touchdowns. I mean, you still feel like you, there's more for the Sure, sure. We felt like we left some some, some stuff uh, out there. Uh, you know, we should have kicked that. We should have made that field goal. Obviously, we didn't make the field goal, so maybe we should have went for the fourth. Field. I don't know. You know. But I think, you know, they played lights out today. Give them some credit. Anything else for Coach? Did you see the uh, Tua injury? Did you hear about that? What's that? The Tua injury? I heard about it. I didn't see it. I heard about it. Yeah. I guess. Thanks, Thank you guys. Appreciate it.